episode. Beautiful. <laughs> the second time around. It's more wonderful when you have fun. You realize what I wrote? We naturally have to mix with a lot of people in the business, but I think on account of my attitude, I've also exposed Paul and pushed Paul to be involved with people out of the business, because I feel it's always very good for an entertainer to be accepted as a person and, and to try and find people that just will meet you on a, on a personal level and not necessarily be impressed with what you've done and what you stand for. And I sort of feel that sometimes a lot of the show business people are, are all on ego trips and it's a rather um, a narrow feeling, a narrow, they just don't stimulate each other that much. So that Paul and I certainly enjoy meeting people in the business and he talks shop and, and, and I think uh, um, enjoys being with them. But we also get a kick out of knowing a lot of people that are involved in other professions. And I think that um, it enriches him and, and it enriches our relationship because we're always exposed to different sorts of people. Yeah, very dear friend of ours, Alan Unger. Wonderful, Thank you. wonderful. That show was really fantastic. I really enjoyed it. There is a kind of a speciality that, that Paul has about yes. him that transcends times and trends. And the other night we had dinner together and we were talking about how we have, our careers have done this together. Meaning that out of the 20 or 30 people around this business and who have been around it for the last 15, 20 years perhaps, that Paul and I have the, the similarity of being the one kind of type of performer that always seems to bounce back. No matter what the controversy, no matter what the adversity, no matter what the situation might be, what the trend in music might be, uh, I guess we'll be around because somewhere along the line we have prove to the public that we love entertaining and we will try to offer them the best that we got going for us. Uh, and I really, I say, hey, it's, it's in our blood, you know, it's in my blood and I've got to do it. And, uh, and though my pace is, is not as fast as it used to be and I've kind of uh, allocated myself to very important projects, uh, I find that I'm, I'm really running toward, you know, what Anka the performer must be, and Anka the entertainer, and it's just something you have to do. It's not, it's not something you're forced to do, it's something you really believe in, and you, uh, you kind of direct yourself in that direction. He did a show tonight that I wish was taped. Is there a tape of this show? Uh, well, I had some scotch tape that we're putting the music oh, I'll together. I'll get you for that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about oh, forget. It was just, I, think, I so. think, the total <laughs> show. I've watched many, many performers in my life. It was the total show, and tonight I hated you because I wished I'd written all the songs you wrote. Bravo.